Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmosso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmosso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we're discussing part of the Omega Olympic Turin collection from 2006, the Torino Olympics. They were the Winter Olympics held in 2006. Omega, of course, the Olympic timer since 1932. And this watch is a fusion of the modern and the vintage with the original 1932 Omega logo and a modern coaxial chronometer chronograph from the DeVille lines. This is the DeVille Chronograph Olympic Timeless Collection. 41 millimeters in stainless steel, 13.2 millimeters thick, 51.4 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The Turin Winter Olympics gave birth to a large Omega collection, of which this has been one of the most enduringly appealing designs. It's a large watch, and it's very much in keeping with the contemporary taste for traditional styling elements, but in sizes that don't feel like a quarter on your wrist. Now, because it is 51.4 millimeters from lug to lug, I'm gonna actually recommend this watch for a wrist of my size or larger, so 16 centimeters circumference or up. That said, especially compared to Omega's watches of the 2010s and 2010s, 20s. This one's really flat at just 13.2 millimeters. It easily slides underneath the cuff. That's one of the more vintage-like elements of the watch. Taking a look at the strap, you can see dark brown, medium rectangular scale alligator leather, a matte finish. It's got a folded edge, a monotone stitch. It's got a little bit of bolstering to add volume, and then it tapers away as it moves away from the wrist. Calfskin on the bottom, no crimping, no gouging, brand new Omega factory strap, Omega factory deploying clasp, also steel, twin trigger release, alternately set and polished. The twin triggers ensure it's not going to pop open accidentally. You do have to press both of them. And then you tuck the strap in, you buckle it in, you secure it in place. It's a very clean look with no need for minder loops as all excess strap length is hidden underneath the clasp and the opposite side of the strap. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see this is one of the more involved Omega cases. And it references a couple of mid-century Omega modern cases that had extravagantly stepped out and fluted lug profiles. So we have a remarkably intricate case band where the lugs flow into the case. These are not blended in Calatrava style or Portuguese style. These lugs are almost more like the kind of lugs you expect from a modern day longa. But Omega did have lugs like these in the 1950s in particular, so it is true to their history. Pump style pushers, some rather polite mini crown guards, and then we have this bezel that's designed to help disguise the disparity between the size of the movement and the size of the case. So you can see outboard, the bezel has this little flat plane, and then it kicks up with a flange adjacent. So you get this bezel that's really quite wide, but doesn't read as a super wide bezel. Now inboard, you can see that the chrono counters are fairly close together, so again, some tricks have been played here to disguise the disparity between movement size and case size. But the dial is beautiful, a lovely rich white lacquer, a repeatedly polished. This is combinations of white and clear coat with these lovely art Nouveau or maybe Breguet style Arabic numerals. They're somewhere between the two. They're not quite Breguet and they're not quite Art Nouveau, but they are very close to each, giving it a nice first, third, 20th century look like the 1932 Omega Olympic timing chronometer pocket watches. Now we also have hands at center alpha style. There is actually luminescence here. Let's take a quick look in the dark. You can see the hands are well loomed, so you can read the time. And then we actually have the vintage Omega logo and a lovely seconds hand whose counterweight is the Olympic rainbow five ring logo right there. So that's a lovely feature. You can also see that the chronograph sub registers use blued hands, whereas the running seconds uses a polished hand. Now, not much to see on the reverse side here, although you know that Omega is the official timekeeper, that this has a coaxial escapement and that it is a chronograph. That advertising, probably not necessary. You can tell this is a chronograph. What you might not be able to tell is that inside it is based on a Frederic Piguet 1285 which is a high horology movement made by the Frédéric Piguet division of Swatch Group. Today, Frédéric Piguet is manufacture Blanc Pen. It's always had a special relationship with Blanc Pen, and in general, unlike La Magna and ETA movements commonly used in Omegas of this period, the Piguet pieces are considered to be autologerie. Now, it's an automatic wander with a 52-hour power reserve. It has both stop seconds 
and a rapidly settable quick set date. It is a vertical clutch and column wheel chronograph, so the column wheel makes for a very crisp feel and sound when you operate the chronograph. The vertical clutch makes for instantaneous engagement, so there's no extraneous movement or jump when you start the chrono. Plus, because the vertical clutch doesn't have any additional meshing of gears when it's engaged, uh, there is no harm in just running your chrono full-time if you like that. Now, it's also upgraded with a free-sprung balance, which is an architectural upgrade from the original Frederic Piquet that makes for more precise adjustment and better shock tolerance. Adjusted in five positions, it gains a COSC chronometer certificate and it features the George Daniels devised coaxial escapement that improves power reserve and reduces maintenance and improves chronometry pursuant to which this is a certified chronometer and water resistant despite the dress watch design of the case down to 100 meters. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.